side that it has finished throwing out the honey so you stop the, the motor and lift the lid and that disengages the, the extractor going around so if I lift out two of the frames out of it you will be able to see the volume of honey that's down in the, in the well And you can see that there's no honey left from you taking the wax cappings off and there's no damage done to any of the cells and you're able to use that again next year. So what I do then is have a little board here. I tip up the extractor and leave it tipped up. And that brings all the honey down to the pint of exit into the filters. And the filters are a rough filter, a rough filter and a fine filter. And this catches everything that you want to take out of it. Always have a bucket and a filter ready to go because as you can see from this one here the bucket is nearly full <clears throat> so when that comes near the top I just pull it out of the way and put in another one and there's be 60 pound of honey then in that bucket and you'll seal it up and put the cap on the lid on it so this is to release the honey out and you fill up this which in turn fills the bottom filter and you have to be careful that it doesn't overspill. Look at that for liquid gold. And that is perfect honey. You'll see small little bits of wax cappings in it as well and some bubbles. But all that will disappear. You'll be left with a little bit of wax in the, the filters. And you just keep doing that you always stay at your at your extractor doing this to be able to close the gate so that it doesn't spill over into the bucket without being filtered so with experience you know how much honey is in your filter how close you can get it to come up towards the top of the bucket but I always leave it but an inch from the top of the bucket. I don't overfill it because it's hard to uh, manage it putting it into the next stage which is into the settling tank and you put I put that into the settling tank for two to three days so that all the air bubbles can rise to the top before I open this gate and put it into jars and jar it up ready to go out to the shops so this is the most popular size that goes into the shops now with the uh, the 227 gram jar of honey and the shops can't get enough of it so I'll stop the video again until I I'm sure that we're not ready to overrun the bucket.